What's up, brother? What's up, man? How you doing? You doing all right? Yeah. Okay. So PSP Jonestown actually called it in. That's why I was behind you. Multiple calls that you're going over the line. Are you falling asleep or anything like that? No, sir. Okay. I'm very well rested. Okay. Well, I've been behind you for five miles, and you've gone over the fog line three times. What's the fog line? But you're CDL, yeah. and you don't know what a fog line is. The cop is being pretty rude right off the bat here. The, the white line? Yeah. I didn't go over the line not one time. Well, I mean, it's filmed on my car, it, so it's filmed we're not going to sit on the side of the road. This driver having his own dash cam and his own evidence that he wasn't crossing the fog line while driving really changes this cop's tone. I need your logbook, your license, and all your info now. Eli. Eli. What's that? Are you upset? You're not going to argue with state trooper on the side of the road, are we clear? Uh I'm asking if you're upset. Like, that's it. Can I take off my seatbelt? Take your seatbelt off. Take your seatbelt off. Like, I was like crying and whining. Like, hey, I'm a grown man, just like you. Okay, step out of the vehicle with your information. We'll go back to my vehicle. There's a history of cases where police officers have pulled over drivers because they've crossed the fog line and then have conducted unreasonable searches and seizures. And more often than not, when these cases make it to a court of law, they're thrown out of court. All right. The license is right. Hold it in there. Okay. So this is just a warning. Again, like I said, I got to do my job because it was called in, but I can only speak to what I observed. Right. So I crossed the fog line back here. Okay. So that's what I gave you the warning for. No okay. citation. It's really unfortunate that the way someone handles being pulled over can change the whole trajectory of the interaction. I was behind you for five miles. I, like, I was looking for it. I didn't see you, like, all over the road like they called in. So right. I can't speak to that, right? Yes, sir. Imagine if this driver, from the beginning of this interaction, matched the cop's energy. Imagine if he gave him the same attitude and rude demeanor that the cop gave him. How do we think this would go? How would it go entirely differently? This ended with the cop apologizing for his behavior to him. Um, so I can only cite for what I speak for. So you got the warning for that. It's not going to be on your license or anything. Okay. Yeah, I know you got CDL stuff like that. All right. Um, so a lot of times when we come up to trucks, we never know what we're in for. So I apologize for coming in the way that I did. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, I didn't it's mean fine. Any disrespect? Yeah, it's That's fine. That's my bad. No, I messed up. I'm I admit it, so I apologize for that. I appreciate that too, man. But it, it's fine. I didn't take any heart to um, it. Public safety has to be about so much more than pulling people over for minor traffic violations. It has to be about actually keeping people safe. It's too often the case that when a police officer enters into a situation, they end up escalating it rather than making people in the situation and those affected by it more safe. We all need to reflect on how many resources go towards the police and if those resources would be better spent elsewhere. If what we're interested in is making our community safer, those resources should go towards doing things that achieve that ends.